The most common hormone-producing tumor in the pituitary is a prolactinoma. And these tumors account for about 40% of the tumors that we actually end up having to medically or surgically treat in the gland. These tumors overproduce a hormone known as prolactin. The occurrence of these tumors is equal in men and women. And the hormone that is produced actually in women interrupts the menstrual cycle. So pituitary prolactinomas in women are usually detected early because women notice that they're not having a period monthly. And as a consequence, prolactinomas in women usually present as small tumors, less than one centimeter in size. However, in men, the symptoms are not so obvious, and they can be quite subtle, including decreased libido, fatigue, decreased sexual function. And as a consequence, men oftentimes present with larger tumors, what we call macroadenomas, tumors that are greater than one centimeter in size. Independent of the size of these tumors, we do typically treat all prolactinomas initially with medications, and there are two medications that we commonly use, a medication called bromocryptine, which is given daily, and a medication called cabergoline, which is given twice a week. These medications often are highly successful at both reducing the prolactin levels and also shrinking the tumor size. They are usually very well tolerated. The most common side effect is gastrointestinal side effects, including nausea. If indeed you cannot tolerate the medication or if the tumor does not respond to the medication by lowering the prolactin level or by shrinking the tumor size, then we do end up surgically resecting these tumors.